Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, we'll take a look at the block shadow tool. This is another interactive and dynamic tool for adding simple vector block shadows. They're kind of like drop shadows, but they're based on basic vector elements. Very handy for things like vinyl signs and things like that, or just adding depth to a design using a simple vector object for the drop shadow or a block shadow. Here we can see the toolbar which is the property bar for the block shadow. And I'm just going to come down here and delete these elements from this block shadow. And we'll take a look at creating a block shadow. Go over to our interactive tools, which would normally be set to the drop shadow. Come down to the block shadow. Hover over my selected object, left click, hold down, drag. You can see the blue outline. I can bring that anywhere I want to put that. I'm going to bring this right down to about here and release it there. Now there's a basic block shadow. I can see my depth and my direction. Here I can change the color. Here I can set my block shadow to overprint, but we'll get into that in another training session. Here we can simplify and you'll see that effect. Here we can remove the holes in the block shadow. Here we can generate from the object outline. Now that is currently set with expand block shadow to zero. Just come up here, left click, we'll push that up a little bit. And you can see the block shadow will expand around the outline of the vector object that you're applying it to. And I'll bring this down a little bit. Let's say seven, right about there. Now then, if I wanted some more effect, I could go to the Object Properties Docker, go to the Outline, which is right here, and I could set my outline from None to, let's say, Three Point, and you can see the effect. Very nice for sports designs and things like that. I'll change my corners to metered and make that nice and square, and you can see how that works. Down here I have a soccer ball design. I can very easily add some depth to this with the block shadow tool. I'll zoom in here and I'll just click on the stars. Now these aren't all together right now. I want to put them all together so I'm just going to select all of them. I'll just hold down shift. Select all the stars and then I'll weld those together go to my block shadow tool, zoom in, left click, hold down, bring those down straight to right about there and release. You can see that nice little effect that adds there. Could make that deeper if I wanted to. Come back here and pull down a little more and get more of that effect. And dial that in right where I'd want it. I'll go to the soccer text outline here, left click, hold down. Now see I still have that selected so I want to hit control Z and then click here to make sure I have the outline object of the text selected. I'll just left click, pull down. I can bring that down right to about there. And then I'll come up here and I'll just go around the outside a little bit on that. And you can see that effect. Might want to go a little bit more and I can close these areas where you saw the gaps. Come to the champs, do the same thing there, pull down a little bit, not too much, and we'll bring from the outline up a little bit. 
and you can see how that's affecting my design. Really changing the depth and the look of the design very easily and very quickly. I'll take the banner, left click on that, pull down, bring that down to about there, release that, and you can see how that's going to look. And that looks good. Then I'll go into the 2018, left click, hold down, not too much of that, just a little bit. And I'll come up here, give that some outline, nice look there. So you can see I can go through a simple vector design like a emblem or something like that and really dress it up pretty quickly with some block shadow elements incorporated into the design to give it a really different look than what we started with. So that's the block shadow tool. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next video session.